Hey everyone, in this video we are going to have a look at a simple way of unit testing a model's getters and setters. We won't go into the debate on whether or not it's okay to write specific tests for getters and setters, I think that's a topic for another video. Anyway, let's find out how we can unit test getters and setters of a model. In this example, we are going to unit test the user model. This model has several attributes such as first name, last name, phone, and email. And each attribute has its own set of getters and setters. Now let's go ahead and create the test for this model. Under the test unit models namespace, create the user test.php file. And create the user test class by extending the test case class. And don't forget to mention the proper namespaces. To make the code cleaner and easier to use, create a setup method for this test in which we instantiate the user model. Let's create our first test. Let's test if we can set and get the user's first name. We create a public function with the name, let's call it can get first name. We are making use of the user model and set the first name, let's say John. And then we will make an assertion, assert equals that the getter uh, method from the user model will return the same value which will be John. All right, now open your terminal and run PHP artisan test filter user test. And as you can see, our test has passed. In a similar way, we can write the other tests for the remaining attributes of the user model. Alright guys, I hope you now have a clearer view of how you can test a model's getters and setters. You can use what you've learned in this video to create even more advanced unit tests if your models have a more complicated logic in getters and setters. If you like this video, stick around this channel because I will post more free resources like this one. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram where I also share web development and other geeky stuff. I was Carol and I'll see you in the next one.